welcome to everybody to our fantastic headquarters, <laughs> covered in scaffolding. <laughs> a lovely place inside, and you'll see in a while. It's, it's, it's such a pleasure to be here at the final point of such a fantastic project. It's not been my project. I've helped it along the way as best I can. But I have to say that what's happened here over the space of two years now is going to result in this fantastic minibus, properly equipped, properly liveried, going to, and I know that the proper pronunciation is Kiev, untold facilities to all those people that need transport, and otherwise they simply wouldn't get it. I want to thank the whole of Rotary in London, well represented here today, for all that's been done, not just by way of fundraising, of course there's been a little of that, but in all the support that's been given to the principal people that have run this. And that has been my predecessor, Dick Nathan, and Helen, both from the Rotary Club of North Park. And they... <laughs> I gather some of you have heard of North Park. <laughs> and they have driven this in a way that nobody would understand unless they'd been close to it. The problems have been considerable, but they've all been overcome because of the stamina and the determination of both Dick and Helen. And in a week or two, this vehicle will be in the Ukraine. It will, be, will have been driven by Dick and Helen driving 400 miles per day for four consecutive days, not even stopping for a toilet break. <laughs> I want to say on behalf of everybody, warm congratulations, fantastically well done for, to both of them and to everybody involved. So I'm really pleased now to say, Dick, could you say a few words and tell us a little bit more about this and a huge welcome to our Embassy uh, from the Ukraine. Thank you. This is not, as our district governor says, this has not been an easy project. It's presented a load of obstacles that we had to overcome. But Rotarians are persevering people. We do not give up. And if anybody needs an example of that, they have only to look at our work on the eradication of polio for 30 years to see that Rotarians, once they start a project, stay with it and see it through to the end. So I would like to thank uh, all the people in Rotary in London who have supported this project. We've also had a lot of support from outside of Rotary, but that, that support was brought in through contacts with Rotary. So my thanks go to all those people as well. There has been a uh, as I said at the beginning, a number of obstacles to overcome, but we have had a lot of support, technical support, from Rotarians in London who have said, I know how to do this, I can tell you what steps you need to go through, and uh, we have reached success as a result of that technical help given by Rotarians in London. We've also received enormous help and support from the Ukrainian Embassy, and from the Ukrainian consulate uh, in West London here. They have provided information on how to get the right documents together. They have helped with uh, some of our translations from English into Ukrainian. And, uh, <laughs> and we are very indebted to the staff there for the help and support that they have given us. So uh, once again, thank you all so much for coming this morning and helping with this task of sending our minibus off to the Ukraine. And perhaps before we finish, I can ask Helen to say uh, a few words uh, from her <laughs> point of view. Well, I'm delighted that we've at last reached this stage. We started the fundraising two years last April, and it's been a hard and long drive, but we're here, and that's the important thing, and it's going to help thousands of children uh, in in Kiev to be transported from their homes to the centre for treatment. And it's also going to be used as an outreach um, vehicle for doctors 
and staff to visit people in their homes or children in their homes who are not able to travel to the centre of treatment. And it's amazing that so far the centre has treated something like 22,000 children and the rate of disability, as I was saying, is increasing uh, in the area. The last time we spoke to Dr. P, there were 500 newborns every year in just that area. So, so it gives me great pleasure to have reached this stage and I'm looking forward to driving, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as for comfort breaks, I have to tell you that we were told in some areas it would be a tree for the boys and a tree for the girls. <laughs> would you please, would you please welcome uh, the Deputy Charge of Affairs from the Ukraine Embassy, Vladimir. Come on, come on. Yeah, right. uh, dear Italian, uh, dear friends, let me say friends. Why all of us uh, know very good proverb. Uh, friends in need is a friends indeed. Sure, uh, we are highly appreciate uh, uh, Embassy of Ukraine, Ukrainian people, especially Ukrainian children, uh, your help. Uh, this is a charity gift uh, for our children of our uh, Chernigiv Center. So, uh, we absolutely understand that childhood is a very good time in the life. So to help uh, our children, we uh, okay. uh, make them possible to feel the comfort, uh, to be able to, to enjoy the life, really. And it's very uh, sensitive for us that you remember our tragedy, which was happened almost 30 years ago. Uh, so this is not, I think, you know, this is not just uh, 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 bus. This is we appreciate the the thoughts what behind of this bus. You are thinking about us. You are thinking about our children. And uh, let me say we are really friends. Uh, uh, and uh, I want to uh, express very um, sincere words of um, appreciation, thanks from our children uh, from Ukrainian side. And uh, we hope our cooperation uh, will. Thank you very much for your visit. Oh, no, she's gone. Oh, no.